check out this Roadshow Rewind. Happening here, it is peanut butter time, and here to tell us all about the 17th annual Washington Trust Peanut Butter Drive is Ned Handy, president of Washington Trust. Good to have you here. Great to be here. We well. were talking, and we were looking at that going, I cannot believe that it's been going on this long. Unbelievable. Because I remember being there the first the first one time at yeah. Washington Trust Reservoir and Park, collecting, and it was car after car after car. You, you can think of it in terms of years, or you can think of it in terms of peanut butter. <laughs> yeah. 120 tons really? of peanut butter over that time. Which, if you do the math, and I'm not, you know, I'm a banker, but I'm, you know, not necessarily that great at math. Sure. But I'm told it's three million sandwiches worth. Wow, that is, that really is, it, yeah. it's, it's crazy. It's such a great cause that this goes to, because people, people go in the market and they see peanut butter, but they don't realize the nutritional value of just a jar of peanut butter for people who may not have a meal right. that day. High protein. Kids love it. Adults love it. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not cheap. Right. Uh, and so this is a great way for us to help out, be a part of the solution. And yeah, the food bank, uh, and there are multiple ways, we'll talk about ways to, to be a part of this, but the food bank can buy peanut butter better than you and I can. Absolutely. Um, they I buy bet. it in bulk, they buy it as, as part of a cooperative. And so so one way to help out here is to just donate donate cash. But the food drives are great. We, they, they really are. And they're also a lot of fun. It's fun to see a lot of people out there getting involved in the community, being able to give back to the community. And I know in years past, even they, there were schools that would compete against each other. Other to oh, see who could raise the most peanut butter. No, nothing wrong with competition. Nothing wrong with competition. But you know, there, there are 51,000 households in Rhode Island that are f food insecure, meaning they don't know where their next meal is coming from, which is, is, is rough. I mean, for a lot of us in Rhode Island, that means we don't know which restaurant we're going to go to right. next. Not for this group. Every meal is a challenge. So. And, it, and it's very sad to hear that because well, there's so many people who are lucky enough to be able to go to the market every day, get whatever they want. And, and sometimes you forget about small kids like that or small kids who don't have a meal or families who don't have a meal and really it's inexpensive for most people to go out and just get a couple of jars of peanut butter drop it off and know it's going to a great cause correct right it, it's a great way to help out um, one of the other one of the other things too is when they get to the food bank everybody's there and they're able to divvy up this this peanut butter and know that's going to the people who actually need it that's right they, they coordinate the, the logistics but it's whether you're helping your local pantry mm -hmm. or or the food bank itself which obviously helps the pantries as well it's 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 a great way to be a part of the community fabric and build build just a better place here in so Rome. so if people are out there watching and they really want to take part of this they've got a couple of jars in their ca uh, cabinets at home and they want to be able to do, do this. How can they get out and, and give back? Peanutbutterbank.com. Rock on. Great place. Go <laughs> online. You can donate. You know, for five dollars, the uh, the food bank can buy two jars, large jars of peanut butter. So and that's, that that makes it really easy. You don't even have to go to the store. You can just go online, can, push the button, and donate and donate that's that way. That's absolutely right. And then also this weekend on Saturday from ten to one at many of our branches, we're having a free shredded day. And at those shredded days, we're going to be collecting peanut butter. So people can go on WashingtonTrustBank.com slash shred right. and find out about where those locations are and, and we'd love people to show up and bring some peanut butter and bring some boxes full of stuff they right. shouldn't have in their house another, anymore. Another great thing. You get all that stuff lying around. You wonder what to do with it. Bring your peanut butter, bring your box, bring all your paperwork and get it done. Thanks so much Ned, for love coming that. in. Great to be here. Good well, to thank have you. you here. And thanks for all your support. It's, it's been a, it's a great, uh, great event and a great thing these folks are doing. And if you would like to help support the peanut butter drive, just drop off a jar to any Washington Trust. You can also make an online donation to Rhode Island Community Food Bank makes it a lot easier. Details are on Roadshow.com. Be sure to catch the Roadshow weekday mornings at 9 on WPRI 12.